Ooh, the beautiful moon. On the other end of the telephone line, the scene that greets me tells me one simple fact. I like the music, bro. Oh, what the- what? That our great escape plan has ended in failure. Never expected to see you see you here, Inspector Cabanilla. I believe that's my line, my old friend. What are you doing here? I believe that's my line too, clearly. I came to attend your execution. They told me what time it was. Uh, to be honest, guys, if you're wondering why I'm doing that little list, lisp for his voice, that little, uh, stereotypical lisp, <laughs> it's because <clears throat> I looked at his player profile, right, on, uh, the Ghost Trick Wiki, and it said he was, uh, he has, like, a fabulous demeanor or something like that, I was like, oh, he's, he's, uh, fruity. <laughs> I couldn't get into the chamber, so I was observing a moment of silence here. And when I looked up, my eyes full of tears. There you were, baby. It's just the way things turned out. I took part in what seemed like a fun game. And here I am. Here's what I wish, my old friend. Wish is what anybody but me who found you here. No! What the fuck? He's gonna kill him? Because now that I found you, man, I have to turn you in. You have to stay spotlessly clean, after all. Um. Um. Yo, bro, what's going on here? Thanks for coming. I wanted to say goodbye to you. As you can see, I, I guess I'm not going to be much help to you. What's going to happen to you? Being executed tonight is just about the only thing of my schedule, it seems. Exit. <coughs> <coughs> I got something caught in my throat. Executed, huh? Death is pretty much meaningless to me. Anyway, I guess we'll be seeing each other again. By the way, there's something I'm looking for. Oh, that's right, you lost memory. You know things I'd like to know. What if you mind if I ask you a few questions? In return for tonight's fun little game. <laughs> is that it? Alright, about Cecil. <clears throat> I saw it, um, you know, the picture you're painting in yourself tonight, that was me, which means you must know me. I'm very sorry, but I can't talk to you about that now. What? Why? Why not? Because I, I don't know your true face. My true face. I'm a detective. I can only talk about what I'm sure of. However, I can give you... I can give you one lead, at least. A lead? What is it? A long time ago, I gave Lin something to hold on for me. It was a music box. <clears throat> if you ever come across it, I advise you to open it. It might jog your memory. The wooden box I found in Lin's apartment! And there's the only help I can give you right now. Hmm. So that box is significant. That man putting a gun at you right now. And they say he's your... good friend. We were when we were in the detective division together. That was a long time ago. Now he's the head of special investigation unit, the top of the elite. Getting ahead is the only thing he thinks about now. And that white coat of his is a symbol of his determination. His white coat? For somebody looking to get promoted to the top, what's the one thing they're afraid of the most? A blot on their record, of course. Like a stain of pure white coat. Who would promote a man with a coat covered in stains? If it was me, I'd go with a black coat. They didn't show... They, don't, they, didn't, they didn't show the stains. The world is full of excellent candidates. Even one mistake could be the end of the career. But everybody might make mistakes, right? Nevertheless, Cabanella has chosen a path as his white coat, and he'd do anything at all to hide his coat's shadows. 
like send his good friend to the gallows. Because that the right thing because that's the right thing to do. I'm a condemned criminal after all. And that's why he has the gun pointing at me right now. So we gotta stay we gotta get his coat dirty to make him be able to make the escape. <clears throat> Is your execution really the right thing to do? I had a fair trial, and that's what we decided. No problem here. But still. This is the punishment that I should receive, in order to bring a final close to the case and put it to rest forever. Lynn believes you're innocent. She's running around right now trying to prove it. Is that all you have to leave her with? No problem here? I... I was sentenced to death penalty for killing my wife, Alama. But to me, that's not all it was for. What do you mean? That's not all it was for. I'm talking about something that happened even before this case. I stole somebody else's life. What? The other murder? It was ten years ago, I'll never forget it. The day... The day I saved the life of a little girl. And I stole away the life of a man. Ten years ago, the life of a little girl? that little girl be Lynn? She told you about that? Yeah, she said you were her hero. Now just calm down and drop that weapon. S -s Stay back. If you come any closer, I'll 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 shoot her, man. <clears throat> Ten years ago, in a certain park, a little girl was taken hostage. I was still young then, and I didn't have any self-control. I remember asking myself at the time, Jowd, are you going to shoot this guy? And this is what I answered, yeah, I'm going to shoot. My hand was shaking a little. If my hand slipped, the man might die. Even a little hostage girl was a danger. Nevertheless, that was my answer. Yes, I'm going to shoot. And the man died. I... I took his life. Lynn was never told the outcome. She was so young at the time. I didn't deserve to be called a hero. What I deserve is... EXECUTION. It's bad, man. Ready to go? My arms. My arms are getting tired. You got it, baby. It's time for your big show of hauling you, uh, big show of hauling you in. Oh, that's... that's right. Just let me make one last phone call. That's a big favor to ask so casually, my old friend. Tell you what, tell you what I'll do. I'll pretend I'm not watching. I'll be listening, though. On that, you can rely. Or relay, I think it said. Cecil, you've got your own path to follow. You better hurry. My own path? Lynn is at the Justice Minister's office right now, right? It might not be a bad idea to say my final farewell to him, too. Uh, hello, everything's fine here. Uh-oh, what'd she do? Is this the chicken kitchen? I'd like to request a delivery. Um, the chicken kitchen is next door. Goodbye. Oh, no. What'd she do? Hmm. It sounds like she's in some kind of trouble. It doesn't... it does, doesn't it? Get... go help her out, would you, Cecil? Sorry to keep you waiting, Inspector. Ready to go? Oh, before I forget... I have a little something for you. What's that? Hmm. 
Well, that was splashy. A present, if you will. There's nothing else like it, baby. If there's nothing else like it, don't throw it. What's this? A pocket watch? Considering my situation, it's the last thing in the world I need right now. Forgive me, man. Let's just say I'm no good at choosing presents. This is it, Cecil. Let me just leave you one thing. Don't trust other people's memories. Look for what you seek with your own eyes. I'll remember that. They're gone. There's nothing left here. No hope and no cores either. Alright, only place to go. Without any cores, I can't follow after them. This is the end of my adventure. I feel pretty dejected, but I guess I better go find Lin. I'll follow the path Detective Jown pointed out to me. The path the Justice Minister office where Lin went to tried and stopped the execution. Oh my goodness, that was really good. That was awesome. Can't wait for more, man. Alright, here. All right, continue on!